what's going on and welcome to episode three of Road to the Show. Things are starting to get a lot more exciting now and a lot more exhausting. We are officially 23 days out from showtime. So that's three weeks on Saturday. We're on the Thursday today. I spoke to my coach, not this week, the week before on my check-in. And he told me that this week now is going to be the most difficult. Now, obviously last week's episode, which you got an insight into my posing, it was also a deload week. Now, the deload week was still difficult. It's things like having my clients one-to-one, hitting steps, whatever it may be. That was still proving to be a task and I was still absolutely draining last week. But this week, obviously doing the exact same thing, working, online coaching, steps, but now I'm incorporating training as well, which is, to be honest, a big thing to put in at this stage. So I'm feeling absolutely drained in the mornings. I am absolutely shattered. My clients are starting to see that now as well, but luckily for me, they're very understanding. But in a weird way, me feeling this bad is also making me feel good and I'll explain why. It goes to show that everything's going the right way. My body fat levels are dropping, I'm super dry. I'm getting like all those signs that things are going in the right direction. So although I'm feeling bad, nothing great comes about some level of sacrifice. That is what we're going through at the moment. So today we're going to be doing, so guys, it's going to be quite a short day. We're going to be doing my second chest and back day of the week. I'm going to throw a little bit of casting as well. And then obviously I'll wrap the video up with some cardio at the end where I can just talk through like the protocol for next week and the next steps and stuff. But, uh, obviously, the first episode that we did of this road to the show was my full chest and back day. Now, today's only going to be four exercises, which is a very short day. So it's going to be a lap pull down, it's going to be a seated roll, it's going to be a chest press machine variation, and then a cable fly as well. Now, men's physique, which is the category that I'm doing, it's heavily based around like tight waist, big shoulders, arms and stuff like that. So the main days that we're hitting at the moment tend to be shoulders and arms. So this is more of just a top up day to get things hit. So I'm going to start off with a little bit of calves, work my way through it, talk you through the session, how I'm feeling and what our next steps are. So we're going to start out hitting calves first. Now calves has always been a very difficult thing for me. It's pretty much difficult for everybody, but I've got a little routine that I've implemented in like the last six months or so where basically it's just a lot of volume, a lot of intensity, do a few sets of this and try to help me calves come on quite a lot. And the lower my body fat's going in the dry, I'm getting the more condition I'm getting, the more my calves start to come out in terms of like vascularity and definition. So I'm gonna do three sets around on this. Because obviously at this stage now, it's not about building muscle, it's about retaining as much muscle as possible and getting as much con as, like the best condition possible as well. So today is mainly just hitting stuff as hard as I possibly can. It won't be as hard as normal. My energy levels aren't there, my calories aren't there, stuff like that, but yeah, give it our best shot. And then after we've done these, move on to back. So, just finished up the car, so gonna move on to back now. As I said in the first episode that I did of this, I always prefer doing back first, mainly just to like get my scapulas engaged and stuff like that. So like when I am doing push, I just feel like I can contract a lot better. But as I was saying at the beginning of the video, I'm feeling absolutely shattered. Like I'm doing my warm up sets at the minute and off camera then I've just done a set of 15 reps on 50 kilograms and that is absolutely draining. But this is the good thing about being quite a short day. I'm just doing three working sets and a deload set, and then getting through that. So yeah, we're gonna do a lap, lap pull down, seated roll, then move on to chest. So I'm gonna get warmed up first, get some blood into the muscle, and start my working sets. So just an hour first, Exercise is lap pull down. At this stage, I'm already absolutely drained. The best way I can describe this is like a foam battery that's like 1%. Like you've not got much left and your battery drains so fast you've got next to no food. It's funny, <laughs> I was having a discussion off camera before and I think it's worthwhile mentioning bodybuilders get a really bad reputation of being dead moody. And to be honest, until you've been through this process, it's difficult to understand why. But my patience and the amount of time I've got for people is just at an all-time low. Like, I'm snapping a lot quicker, getting moody a lot quicker, got less time. Literally just because of how drained I am from like training, walking, lack of food. I'm just dead tetchy and dead moody all the time. So 
We're actually good guys. We're just going through a bit of a bad patch when we're dieting, so just bear with us. But we're going to move on now to a muscle round set, which I spoke up before, which is six sets, four reps, 10 seconds in between. Get as much as I can out of this, then I'm going to move on to chest. So let's get jumping into this. So, just finished up the back, we're going to move on to chest now. So we're going to go into the standing chest press machine. This one is slowly becoming my favourite piece of like chest kit. Um, but this is one thing, especially when it comes to uh, trusting your coach. When I originally seen this plan, I was seeing a lot of machine work. Now obviously, free weights, barbells, things like that are always going to be the king of compounds. As opposed to machines, there's a lot more muscles involved, a lot more efforts involved. But on days like today, where I'm literally running on empty. I feel like I'm just like running on fumes, 0%. It comes in handy having these through because it makes the job, although you're getting the job done, it makes it a little bit easier, which at this stage is a good thing because you don't want to be going completely nailing it and putting your body under too much stress. The back end of the session, resistance wise anyway, doing our last working set, which is going to be a muscle round set. Literally give everything in that then, I'm feeling absolutely 0% now, we're running on nothing, but muscle round set, exactly the same as what they've done rolls, but just going to do these on a cable flies. Jump on, hit the rest of my steps on cardio. I'm going to give you an interesting breakdown to how we're going to approach the next few weeks, mainly next week, which I'm going to find really interesting, so I'll explain that in a bit more detail, but before we do that, uh, get these out of the way. I cannot wait to finish today. Just literally feel like I'm running on fumes. It's not a good feeling, but it'll all be worth it. So at the minute, we've not really got any hard cardio. Not, I know I'm on the treadmill now, like, but the main thing for us at the moment is we're hitting 15,000 steps consistently every day. Um, to be honest, this prep has been easier than most preps would be. Or like I've done diets in the past that have been more difficult than this. And this is um, it's a product of how we've approached it. It's because we stayed super lean during the off season, we've pretty much cruised into this prep. So food, to be honest, is still quite high. It's around 2,800 calories. Don't need to do any ridiculous hard cardio, don't need to starve ourselves or anything like that. So the main thing is, as long as I'm hitting 15k steps a day, hitting my food and whatever else, well, as you can see, it's clearly coming off and we're getting ourselves in a good position. At the minute, obviously, I'm 23 days out, so three weeks on Saturday. Um, I'm really happy with the condition. I'm really happy with the current stage that I'm at. The people whose opinions matter the most at this moment in time is obviously like my prep coach, my posing coach. They all think I'm in a really good position, which Obviously, this is uncharted territory for me. I've never done a show before. So I don't know how, I'm, I know it sounds silly. I don't know where I'm supposed to be at this moment in time, which is why it's so important that I've got people to help me navigate through this stage. So if they're happy, I'm very happy. Now, as I said over there on the fly machine, the next week's going to be interesting. This week we've got out of the way now is the hardest week because I'm on like reduced calories, still hitting my output. I'm still working. Like one-to-one -one sessions is the most draining thing at the moment because I'm giving people my mental and physical being and it's very very difficult for me um, whereas next week the first three days so monday tuesday and wednesday we're going to fat load start eating more stuff like almond butter salmon avocado and things like that then the thursday friday and saturday we're going to start carb loading maybe start implementing like more rice more potatoes more bagels more simple sugars like jam and bananas and stuff like that basically to see how my body reacts now, one thing, one comment that always gets made about me, mainly by my sports massage therapist, because he sees me quite a lot, is I completely change how I look, and my body completely changes after food. So I'm hoping that I just completely explode in a good way. Hopefully I get nice and full, muscles are nice and full, rounded. Uh, obviously my condition will improve as well, hopefully if we get things right. So next week will be super interesting. And off the back of next week, obviously we've got one more week where we'll go back to normal. 
But depending on how next week goes, how I react, that's what's going to determine how we run up to peak week, which is the week before. So next week's going to be interesting. The good news is for me, the hardest week's out the way. I'm so glad this session's over. Got my last session of the week tomorrow. Once that's out the way, that's done. Hard yards finished. And the rest of the prep hopefully should be a breeze. Well, as much as a breeze it can be in prep, but hope this will give you a really good insight into where I'm up to. I'm in a great position at the moment. I'm feeling super confident about where I am, how my posing's going, how I'm going to look on stage. I just can't wait to get out there. A lot of people look forward to the end of prep. A lot of people look forward to coming out of it because it's so draining. I'm looking forward to getting on that stage and showcasing the best physique possible. I'm excited to get out there and show you all what I've been working hard for. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't done already, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notifications every single time it will. And thank you for all the love on the other videos. I really do appreciate it. I shall see you next week for episode four.